Well, the trial hasn't officially started yet, but the controversy surrounding a Spokane County murder trial is well underway. Defense attorneys for Clay Starbuck say critical evidence in the case was not properly tested. Starbuck is charged with killing his ex-wife. KXY4 Jeff Humphrey shows us what's missing and how that could dramatically affect the outcome of the trial. Well, jury selection is still underway for Clay Starbucks' first-degree murder trial here in Spokane Superior Court. However, his defense attorneys worry those jurors won't end up hearing the whole story. Clay Starbucks' defense team wants his jury to be able to read the sexually charged text messages the victim was receiving the same day she was murdered. Court documents show a man named Tom Walker wanted Shannon Starbuck to send him a picture of her performing a sex act on herself, and that's exactly the same way that the victim's body was discovered. The defense wants the jury to know about other possible suspects in the case, but Starbucks attorneys say so far the judge has ruled those X-rated details inadmissible as evidence. Yeah, I believe that the jury should be able to hear the whole entire story, not what they think is right or wrong. I think they should be able to hear from day one of facts. The jury also runs the risk of not hearing the best evidence in the case. According to the defense, that sex toy found with the victim was never tested for the presence of DNA. Even the detectives requested to have that evidence tested, but for some reason the crime lab has either refused or just hasn't tested it. The defense also claims there was both blood and semen on the victim that doesn't match any of the suspects in the case and the Starbucks worry prosecutors are taking an incomplete investigation to trial. I feel that mistakes are being made left and right uh, by the judge and the prosecution. They aren't allowing certain evidence into the courtroom that is critical to my dad's defense. The defense is so worried about the suppression of evidence in this case that it's actually gone and asked a higher court for an emergency review of the judge's rulings. However, that request was denied and jury selection continues here tomorrow. Reporting at Superior Court, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4.